It's time for crafted. My man. You know, I bought. I, My man. I bought three. I bought. Uh, well, I've already bought two chains and a, and a wrist thing. None of them fit me because I'm a fucking growth hormone. Mate, half man, half growth so hormone. This, right? Look, I've had to get this last an extra one, bit. To get two extra bits to put on it. And I bought the biggest one. Yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> yeah. I was measuring my wrist and I was looking. I was on the whole of Google. I was like, where can I find a 21 centimeter chain? Nowhere. Yeah. 21 centimeter for a wrist. Big boy wrist. I got this you do have. Oh, I, I can't even. I can't even get my hands around. You know when we box, I have to like double tie them up, man. I feel my. You got brittle bones. Crafted. Yeah, it looks good, man. You're all jeweled up, isn't it? Looks good. Welcome mm. back, guys. The three, three, two, one, three. Yeah, I was only, I was only messing last week. Don't worry. We wasn't going to go. Yeah, three, someone two, sent one, me zero. that. Someone sent me and said, "Oh, is that it?" I said, no. <laughs> Season finale. No, it's not it. We're back. Someone, someone did comment and say, um, "I'm even just going to watch this, the silent hour next week." <laughs> <laughs> just watch an em- legend. Just watch an empty sofa. We appreciate the support. Well, it does feel a bit alien not having the I'm going to go with the headphones. I like the clarity. There he is. They're back. I feel a bit exposed and vulnerable without them. They both said they were going to try it without the headphones on today, but it's too good. It's because I did it last week without the headphones, but obviously I didn't need to. You know what? Because you can hear the volume of how people are talking. Yeah, of and, course. And you going can around. dictate your tone based on others. Yeah, nice. Nice. Um, how are we? How are you, Tom? Josh good. is drinking. Good. I've got our beef in 10 days. My that's man's come, on that's come quick. tripping this, this month. How long are you going for? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, back Wednesday, so like five. Oh, wow. Are you gonna, have you planned it? Yeah, yeah. And then talk me through. Has he planned it? Sat- <laughs> <laughs> Come on, no. You know what I do when I go on holiday? I go on like Tuesday land. Tuesday, oh, you do it to the Tuesday, hour. Oh, Tuesday night dinner outfit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you choose the outfit. I have to, otherwise I get. You know what I mean? I get really <laughs> on edge if I don't know what I'm doing. But Saturday night higher. It's the first time. I, have you seen Black Coffee? You know Black Coffee. Oh, he's at high again, is he? Yeah, I've never seen Black Coffee. My my cousin was there last Saturday because it was uh, Hendo. It looked really good. So Saturday high. I'm, I'm basically going halfway through a stag do. So they're not going to do Sunday. So I'm going to see who's about on Sunday to go to Solomon because I don't want to go. Well, I don't mind going on my own. You meet people? Oh, yeah, 100%. I just want to go for a few hours. And then some? Monday DC 10, but we're doing DC 10 a bit differently this time. We're going to go like 7 p.m. just as the sun sets as opposed to 2 a.m. Very nice. Just because sometimes you walk up to DC 10. Sweatbox. Yeah, so you need to be on level with everyone else, otherwise you feel grotty. Then there's a football game Tuesday, England, Germany. Oh, is it? Yeah, friendly, but it's nice, isn't it? Uh, You're on holiday. It's a World Cup at the end of the year, isn't it? Mm. That's going to be weird in December. There's a lot going on with that because it's in Qatar. Obviously, it's a Muslim country, drinking, gays. You know, like like homosexual, uh, whatever. Identify anything other than male or female, yeah. and you go to Qatar and you talk openly about that. Like you are against mm-hmm. their law. Money talks, doesn't it? I, I really, I'm intrigued. Like, are they gonna? I, I think maybe in Qatar it'll be a little bit like Dubai. On paper, like Dubai, like you're not allowed to drink anywhere, but you can drink in a hotel. So you see all the bars, all the all the clubs, they tend to be attached to hotels. I think they're all right now, but I think in Qatar it's uh, solely, like if you're in a bar at a hotel, okay, you can drink. So I wonder whether they'll like put like little things, like they'll just like kind of call them hospitality under the oh under God. them, and they'll just say, get in your taxi and go home. For the, These are for the fans, yeah? It's gonna be for the fans, yeah, who are drinking. I mean, I'd expect of people who are like, not straight, not like completely straight to not go there. They probably wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't no. feel comfortable going there. No. But like how crazy is it you can have a World Cup where not everyone from the world can go? Due to? Beca- because of whatever, yep. you know, <laughs> whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Because of things that they just don't agree with. I know. It's, it's kind of crazy. It, well, a little hypocritical, the fact that we despise Russia so much and then we're going to places like that mm-hmm. and just got completely backward ways of life. But as you said, money talks, doesn't it? It's gonna be gonna be weird drinking mulled wine and watching the football, World oh, Cup. Yeah, I, like it. I know. Really so I'm gonna go find a lovely little cozy boozer and just nice. perfect. Yeah, one that's got a big open wood fire. Mm. Yeah, be nice. I don't even want to think about winter. I'm too in summer, hot boy summer. It's, all it's like back on now. Back oh, on. Fell in love. Nut nut. Looks she like meat's back on a menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nut nut. Loon. I'm looking forward to Christmas. I'll be free by then. Oh yeah, of course. After locking down the whole summer. Mm. Did you have an Easter egg this year? Uh, yeah, I did because uh, I you hadn't just started, started, have you? Or I just like and my calories were like four thousand, so yeah, I did. Mm. It was nice actually. I got it from M and S. My mum got me. It was a cereal. It was white chocolate cereal milk. 
Mm. Oh, it was unreal. Mm. Yeah, real good. I had three lint mini eggs, yeah. which are 30 calories each. I gave up 100 calories. Really? Of my, I had quite a few calories. It was, what was it, four weeks ago. So I had 90 calories of three small, <coughs> small little eggs. And that was my Easter good. egg. I had a Farrah Roche, six cherry bakewells, pack of bourbon. <laughs> Oh, I can't stop, man. Like Good just, man. I just go in. Do it for all of us. So how's your cut going? How, when does it end? Uh, Ibiza. Uh, Ibiza, yeah. Yeah. We're all going like proper hard at the moment. It's good. It's nice. It's nice not having like a not a, not a physique goal in mind, but like you know, got it's to get like glutes end. in. Or do you know what I mean? It's nice actually just fucking enjoying it. And I ha and I without pretending like blowing smoke up my nose or like taking away from the harshness of dieting, I have, there's not one day I thought. This is tough, mm. but like I, like we discussed before, I think once you've dug deep so many times during prep, these things for holidays is just yeah, it's like walking in the park. Yeah, I um, I was watching one of your videos the other day. And I looked at your breakfast and I was like, that's a fucking big breakfast. Yeah, yeah, you put burgers every night in there, a thousand oh. calories. I'm thinking, yeah. fucking, hell, I've only got five hundred to play with. No, you had the it was the, the, the omelet, and then there was like sourdough toast with peanut butter and banana Fuck. berries, and I was like, that is so many calories. Like, because obviously at the moment, so I. I I'll do the whole, you know how I am, on yeah. and I, I really backload a lot of my calories at yeah, the end yeah, of the yeah. day. So my first meal was, you know, only about 500 calories, but I was mm -hmm. looking at it and thinking, me, peanut butter. Yeah. It must be nice. <laughs> 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 so I, yeah, I I say, I have a nice big breakfast, but then I won't eat until dinner. I'll have a shake. So yeah, I'll, I'll oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm really I like, can't do that. you can't. Once like, I break it, it's done, I'm me to eat. Really? Like now I haven't eaten, it's 10, it's, you know, it's 20 to 11. I'm good until like midday. Yeah. yeah but once we're, I we're eat. Are all fasting today? Yeah. I'm, I, I, they got the boys. <laughs> respect it. I have my 5 HD. I am gang. Morning. Nice. Did you do uh, that? Nicotine, eat, eat. nicotine gum? No, I haven't tried it. Not there yet. I suppose food's quite good. Wow. That's I'll probably good. just use the old modafinil. Yeah, mods or 5 HTP. I had 150 meg today with my coffee. You could do it every day up until Ibiza. Yeah, <laughs> I, just, I basically said I was... Super serotonin dump. Oh, God. Don't, don't <laughs> think about it. <laughs> a whole bottle of glutathione. TF Cycles, I need a week off social media next week. Yeah, I don't even want to think about it. I'm just going to just brace myself for it. But, yeah, I do... I just do like 10 a day aggressive fat loss and see... Pull, pull see my calories right down. I think I'm going to do 200 protein, 200 carb. 60 fat, 600 calories of cardio. Oh, you could push harder than that. Yeah. I much, think it's just the cardio. I'm doing 400 you, in the morning and then 200 a Metcon after training, so. Yeah, mm, that's nice. Have you seen, like, there's a few, a few, I think Joe Jeffrey's done it a few times. You probably don't follow him too much, but a few of his clients do these, like, keto things. Leon, just now, you seen him? Is that the classic ghost? Yeah. I'm thinking, fucking, like, he's done I four weeks. Mm -hmm. Zero carbs, zero, just protein and vegetables, like almost zero fat as well, I think. I may be a little bit of fat, not loads. And he's literally dropped like 14 kilos and he's peeled and he's ready he's to compete. Through. He obviously wasn't like crazy fat to start off with, but he, I've seen him do it a few times. I mean, you just get a little bit of I'm looking and thinking, TM keto for 10 days. I'm looking and thinking that's gonna have to be me soon if this doesn't start working. Yeah, yeah. four weeks. I know a few of cows, cows been hard with a few clients who can't can't do it, who can't drop. Like they've gone down to fifty carb, like just trace. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. I know I'm, I'm ready, fuck it. I've done it. Like, <laughs> I remember no cardio Joe. Oh yeah, the, I'm gonna <laughs> get through this prep back. No cardio I reckon. I, I wanna I'm gonna when we're done with this conversation I wanna I wanna talk about something. But yeah carry on talking about that keto stuff because I think I think this rapid this fat is a safe it's, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah so they call it a rapid fast rapid fat loss phase and like you, you, all the all the benefits of what people are trying to do, especially in bodybuilding. Yeah. Is like I need to get hungry quick, I need to lose body fat quick. Yeah. And I need to get back in a surplus. Well that like four or five weeks of like zero carbs, like it's brutal. You get very, very fucking hungry, you lose a lot of body fat. And you're not going to lose muscle because you're hormonally fine. Yeah, of course. And then like you, and that's you go back up. that's my kind of not uh, you know not that I'm against it, but the reason why I wanted to do it my way is just because I'm kind of targeting a different sector of people. Mm. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I mean? it's not just yeah, yeah, because it's not sustainable. Mm. It's like I think it'll be half a gem pop client lifestyle. I think you'd, to I do think that. If you, yeah, if you told them to do that, I mean, you'd cause issues. You'd, mm. you'd cause more damage than the result that was mm. that was done. Mm. Yeah, I think the lowest I've ever gone is probably fifty carb. And that's just come from tra like yeah. Church. I've done keto for a bit. JP pushed me there a little bit. JP put me two fifty protein. What are the sessions like? Normal. So, but you get really? like, you get fat, right? Uh, no. No, as in you get no fat to eat. Trace fat. Trace oh, fat. Like, so I could have. Uh, I had uh, 40, uh, 50 grams, fifty grams five times a day mm. of protein, egg whites, chicken, beef, which was where I got five percent fat beef, uh, whey protein, and then like I got to choose chicken again. And that was it. And it was just vegetables and that was it. I did it for like three or four weeks and I was doing an hour and 45 minutes of cardio a day and I was natural. 
Natural as well. Talk about a dark place you've been to. Mm. Fuck me. That I and like <clears throat> in a weird way I'm grateful because yeah, I realised that perspective you is. can take you can take like the amount of times I've been in a position where I think I cannot move this fucking pedal anymore. I can't get out of this bed to go do this, but you can. Of course you, you can. You, yeah, you like the body will never give up if your mind doesn't. <clears throat> It's crazy. Yeah. That was brutal anyway. Yeah. This was for a show, yeah? Yeah, that was I for two, so. 2017. I came second in, in UK BFF. Uh, and like, I just, it was one of those ones where I was so adrenally tired, so fatigued, so battered, I, I couldn't get full. So I'd have a thousand grams of carbohydrates, so I'd wake up lighter the next day and worse. And then and he'd, all right, we need fats in there. So I had 15, like they weren't big ones, small, small to medium sized muffins on show day. And then by like the thirteenth, I was like, I just feel shit. Like yeah, I've got so that, much sugar. Bake, you know, that, just that, um, that baking powder. Yeah, tastes. yeah oh my exactly. God, yeah. You're like, oh. And like, obviously, I'm starving, so I'm like, yeah, all right, fifty. I don't give a fuck. Like he's like, get three lots of five. So he goes, all right, have five now. I'm like, all right, cool. He goes, that's 150 carb, 150 carb. How's and then mid, how's your midsection control? Blown, <laughs> blown. And like, you know, you just kind of film of water from the. Sh I'm not drinking any water. Like not drinking oh, any water. God. Salt was just like minimal and I was just fucked. And like, I was never ever gonna get full. I was never ever gonna look good because of how tired I was. Yeah, it was brutal. Mm. Yeah, that is absolutely savage, isn't it? How it's well. funny looking at the different, like the different perspectives and results the three of us are in at the moment. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like obviously I, 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 um, I really relate to your, like your, your fat loss journey at the moment with like, just no stress. None. Like I, my, the easiest time I've ever lost fat was um, when lockdown started. We went into like lockdown. a mini cut, yeah. Yeah, I was at home. I remember. There was no. I wasn't getting ready for something. I wasn't doing this. I wasn't doing that. I just Same stopped two thousand six hundred calories. I think it was like seven thousand steps a day. No cardio, training, and I was just at home in an environment where I was just really just quite busy working, but just quite simply just getting on with it each day. And mm. I was having tasty f foods yeah. that I could include things I wanted as long as I was in exactly. Like, like, it was IFYM levels like yeah I, I, I ate what i wanted and um that's obviously kind of what like you said you have a big meal at the start of the day you don't really need to eat to because you're not you've got no food focus have you no no you're busy you're None. just working it's it's like when you remove those working. parameters of bodybuilding yeah like the reduction in stress mm. really just makes everything much easier yeah almost and it would just be the case of like oh i'll finish training and tonight i fancy but like last night i had burgers i think it was just shy of a thousand calories but if i'm on two two I'm having 700 at, at uh, breakfast and then a thousand. I've still got a good four or 500 to play with before bed and that'll yep. come from oats and whey or Greek yogurt and whey. And I was, I've been having like Jaffa cakes. They're, they're only like fucking hardly any calories, you know what I mean? <sighs> and, it, and it does, but it's just different goal, isn't it? Like I wouldn't recommend that to someone that wants their glutes in or, you know. No. Yeah, it, of course. It's, it's so that, but you know, even I'm getting a few messages from the, the hardcore bodybuilders, oh, you shouldn't be doing this, you shouldn't be doing that, I think. Not doing that just water for even now. Just water for yeah, yeah. On holiday, mate. I Fuck know, that. I know, but I just suppose <laughs> they they feel so passionate about it, didn't they? And they almost don't want to accept that you can get into shape, and it has to be a certain way. That's why I put up that story today, off the back of you know bodybuilding mm. yesterday. A couple of guys. No, that was that was really good actually, and it actually made me think about a lot of clients who are potentially like lifestyle, but they've learnt from bodybuilders. Yeah, yeah. You know, and they go, but shouldn't I be doing like? Shouldn't I be doing? these steps mm. this blood pressure my heart rate variability my you know my resting heart rate my blood sugar i'm thinking you're just some natural guy trying to get healthy no you don't need to do any of that yeah, no. so much relax oh i need to go i'm going out for my mum's 60th birthday like i'm gonna have my meal before so i'm not hungry and i'm like brother you what's your goal here we're, we're just trying to get healthy go enjoy that that's going to be better as part of your goal like and that's mm. you know when 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 the fit like the fitness industry is represented by bodybuilders, yeah. it's skewed because it's not like true. It's, it's not fitness no, no, exactly. No, it's, it's not, not fitness. fitness. It's it's a sport. And when you put a sport or a, or parameters around a goal, like things get extreme, mm -hmm. no matter what you want. Yeah, it's funny as well. I've had I've had I've had I've pondered a lot on that mindset thing about and and about how you change that. But I've I can't. I thought about it in terms of um, what do you mean though you yourself. Yeah, so I, I literally thought before this prep started. I was like, right. What I need to do is I need to not get stressed about anything because when I don't, my, my, no, you know, my weight just comes off. But you find yourself completely consumed in it. You're checking your physique every day. You're, I'm, I'm meticulous now with my fitness. But I get up. I remember, I, and it's funny. I, I've slipped back into all these old trends, which are fine because I know they work. But like, I get up, I do my cardio, and I plan out all my food for the day on the bike. It's the best way to pass my time. Yeah. But I'm like, <clears throat> I'm straight back into tracking salt, low salt. 
pink salt. I'm tracking my pre's, my intras. Jeez. Everything that passes my lips, I now track because I'm, I want to make sure that sodium potassium balance is right. Because I know I learned from that last year. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah, I pondered on it a few weeks ago. I was like, I wonder how I tap into it. Because it's all mindset. It is all mindset, but it's like a higher level of mindset that I can't actually alter, I don't think, in terms of that, that stress. I just don't understand. I just don't, I don't get it. I can't, I can't work out how to crack the code. I don't know if you will until you remove it. No, and plus look at where you two are. You are here because you do this. Yeah. Do you understand? It's not, yeah. like, it's not like you don't need to, you don't need to cater to a, a certain mindset just because you, you feel like you should be doing that. No, I know. I think I was quite vague there. What I just mean is, like I said, that how is it that without a, without a solid goal in front of me, it's so easy to get what I want in mm. terms of fat loss, but now I've got a deadline and I need to be this and I need to be that. that it suddenly becomes so hard. Yeah. And I don't understand it. I, I really don't understand it. It's, it's like It fascinates me, the psychology of bodybuilding. Yeah. And also, I think a lot about um, the difference between off-season and prep, right? You know how right now, like, or at least for me anyway, like, I'm looking forward to every meal. Yeah. I'm absolutely buzzing for every single meal. Could you imagine if you could harness that in off-season? <laughs> and vice versa. When in off-season, I hate food. Hate I've it. got no interest in it. Don't get creative. No, creative, no creativity, no excitement, no like, oh, I fancy that. Like, here's a perfect example. So I'm now at that, that stage where making, the, the ritual of making and eating my meals is like the pinnacle of my day. Like, I love <laughs> cooking. I love being in there. I will set time aside to make sure I can make these nice meals. Could you imagine if I could harness that in off season mm -hmm. and have this food variability and this unprocessed stuff and I'm not using microwave rice, I'm you know, air frying my potatoes and I'm making it tasty and it's could you imagine if you could harness that in off season and vice versa? Yeah. It's I think that would be the code. You cracked it if you've done that. I think there's endless things that you long for in off season that don't happen in a prep. That that uh, that you long for in off season that don't happen in an off season. I think like we all talk about that clarity, the yeah, focus, the, the drive, the the the, the the flow state, uh, the on rolling joke. The joke is <laughs> bad, 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 bad. It's bad. <laughs> like on. it's it's like if you could take all of that and 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 put it into off season, I think uh, everyone would be pretty good bodybuilders. Yeah, and you know as well, the other thing I think about quite a lot is the the energy level. I said to my I went I, went, I met my dad and my brother the other day. I went bowling with him, and I told him I said he's like, oh where's your, where's your calories at, at the moment? I was like oh, they're like three thousand three hundred on training days, and I was like I bet you. When I was cruising, I would have eaten that or even not eaten that all day mm. and felt absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. I would have felt great. I would have gone, oh shit, I'm only eating 500 calories today, better crack on. Yeah. Now, no, it gets to 4 p.m. I've already eaten yeah. I don't know, 1,800 calories, but my feet are dragging. I'm tired, I just want to go home and cook my next meal. Yeah. Like it, it, The whole thing just blows my whole mind. I can't get mad around it. It's very frustrating. <laughs> it's very frustrating. <laughs> crack it. The thing, the thing that I've... Th I think spending a, a quite a prolonged period of time as I've been doing so now without this kind of up down 5,000 calories off season back down to like, because mine was like, you know, super opposite ends of the spectrum. It's only probably now whereby I'm content with just eating a burger. Whereas back in the day when I'd go from an off season to a prep, I'd have a burger and I'd be, oh my God, I'm panicking, I need more food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's taken me a good 10 to, to probably taken me about a year to eat like a normal person and go, yeah. that is enough. It's gonna take us a long time, brother. I think, yeah. And the longer you're in that cycle, that quite vicious cycle of taking calories from up here to here, you know, because it's just, you scare, you scare. I, I, I remember being actually scared on prep thinking, oh my God, I'm so used to having Cocoa Pops, these bagels and that, and now I can only eat this. Whereas now I I've like honestly have a burger and I'm fine. And do you know what, as well, the, the, the different behaviors and the, the amount of enjoyment you get out of them. So I went, I had like a day out the other day, right? Again, a bit earlier on prep, but I don't mind being a bit more flexible. Um, I went to I went to Marks and Spencers, right, and I'm, they've got a fantastic selection of like cooked meat and salad, right. So I ate. I I, I bought the prawns and I bought um, some like li like some like beef like strips and like a salad. And I ate that and I finished it off. And I realised that I I didn't get any less enjoyment out of that when I'm finished than I did munching on like a Five Guys. And it's the same now. Like I'm cooking these meals now that are obviously much, much lower in calorie, much higher in volume. The taste is amazing. I, 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 I really enjoy them. And I'm, in my head, I'm thinking, when I'm done with this and I get that binge cycle that I go on, I don't need to do that. No. I can actually just eat these meals because they're really nice. Mm -hmm. so, so why can't I just increase the potatoes a little bit in these meals? 
Oh man, because there's no spot. Biohacking, it's just crazy, isn't it? It's when, the, when that goal and that restriction isn't there, for me, the, the shackles are just off. And I tell you what, I've done, I've done it before, I remember last year I finished and I was like, oh, I'm gonna tell you what I'll do, I'm gonna have a salad for lunch. But what I do is I almost like, that then makes space for me just to be even worse. Of course, on. yeah. yeah. And I'll be at a salad at lunch, so you can fucking yeah. go in tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're actually better off probably distributing them more evenly throughout the day when you finish. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm looking forward to. I'm not looking forward to that challenge, but it'll be an interesting one. But potatoes are goat, man. I've been loading up on oh, them. But yeah, so I had like loaded. With hair that, fryer, brother. That, I saw that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I need to. See, I'm, I'm, you really need <laughs> to. Get them I time. know, but I'm really. I don't know why I'm stubborn. You need to, oh, I'm so I'm like to take, our, take our call on this. I mean, just get the air for us. Yeah, so it's so much better, and it's so, so easy good. as well. Yeah, yeah. No washing, like. Yeah, I'm just. In the I, I let the air fryer get a bit dirty on purpose. Yeah, flavour, mate. Extra um, flavour. Really? Bacon in it, and then I like, and then and you get the, like char grilled chicken, don't you? Yeah, man. Like, I'm the same. So, right. Okay. Yeah. So good. I just in the back of my mind, I'm like, when I'm doing recipe videos, I'm like. How many people really have an air fryer? I think more than you think. You think, yeah. yeah. And if they don't, guess what? You put an Amazon affiliate link underneath. Yeah. Especially the people you're marketing to as well. Of course. Everyone's got air fryers now, do Yeah, they're only, I say only, you, know, so you probably get a single one for 50 quid. But, like, but, but it's yeah. like, you'd use it for a year and it's like an oven more. Of course, you know, yeah. You use it multiple times, I use it two, three times a day. It's incredible. Yeah, the meals are the potatoes. I was really, I've been really adverse to potatoes and I don't know why, because they're, they're really goated. Really filling. They're goated. Mm. I had uh, like 300 grams of sweet potato. I just did, I made loaded wedges the other day, 750 calories on that whole plate. And people were like, no, that's not 750. I'm yeah. like, 750. Salad and salsa and tomatoes. Old El Paso is fantastic for <coughs> your dieting. Yeah, Those I do like Old El Paso. Sour cream, guacamole, and salsa. No banging. calories in their things, yeah. man. Yeah, they're banging. It's insane. The Philadelphia lightest as well. I picked yeah. up the herbs one this week. That's nice. better macros, Incredible. isn't it? The herb one. Yeah, amazing. I've been phasing it out. Really? Why? Because. I'm just like, I could just like, I could replace that mm. with like low fat yogurt. Just like oh, more volume. That's where you got Weirdly, to that state. Philadelphia sits all right with me, but yogurt is. Oh awesome, yeah, of yeah. course. Oh, yeah, stomach, Maybe I just come using too much. Maybe I can just put the, cause I'm only using like, mind you. What do you use it with? Your bacon still? Yeah. See, I don't have bacon anymore. I have uh, egg whites only. Oh, you got bacon out. Yeah, I've kept the bacon medallions in. They will probably go at some point to be fair. Why? Too fatty? Yeah. They're just yeah. too small, man. Yeah. Like yeah, you get are. four, you lay four on top of each other and it's like this. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And then you take that same amount of protein so right. for, for egg yeah, whites no. and the egg whites like this. Yeah. yeah it's no, like, it fuck it, true. I'm in. Yeah. I like a f an actual egg. I like a, an egg. A real egg. Oh, an egg, no. Uh, yeah. Having an egg again <laughs> is going to be like drinking cream. I've not had an egg for <laughs> Fucking cream. Weeks, fucking cream. Eggs are just so good, man. Egg and bacon, signing a cup of tea. Yeah, man. I'm done. That's my breakfast. Some tiger bread. I actually, I actually don't really care about the yolk. To be honest, I like egg whites. I think I make my, yeah. I think I make my egg whites. I just think they're so good. It's I made an omelet of down. I was like, this is bang. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I actually prefer an egg white omelet to a normal omelet. Mm. But I just oh, like the birth no. of browns, man. Yeah, yeah, like yeah the, the birth of brown, brown good. with the bacon and just mop, mop up the plate. Do you know what I mean? I usually save the whole eggs for when I go out for breakfast. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I ain't getting egg white omelets when I'm out on there. So. Yeah, yeah. Then they'd do one. Do they? Banging spinach egg white omelet. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well. They haven't got the calories on there. No, they have. Oh, calories on. Nice segue. <laughs> Let's talk about calories on menus for everyone. So, what's the rule? It's, le it's, it's. Five? Is it. Is it a chain? It's in, it, it, I, I believe it's number of employees. I think That's I, it, sorry, I heard yeah. if you had 250 oh, okay. employees, you have to have uh, calories. Across across your chains, if you have 250 employees. Yeah. So if your business is big enough to have 250 employees, you, you have, have to have, have it on there. calories on your menu. What's the, what's the log logic behind that? Well, I guess it's to like, for small businesses, it's like another expense in it from to work out all their calories. So if you're a big enough business, you can afford to do it. Mm. Okay, no. fair enough. So the, the first time, so when it first came out, my, like my thought process like this is a good idea like this is really good then I went to I went for dinner went to Novikov Italian and it's the first time whereby I looked and in my mind I was going to order something and I saw it and I thought no nah, I'm not going to ah, order that is it yeah mm. I went with the loon the loon went with the loon oh the loon and uh, yeah both, both had both had an idea of what it was that we wanted to eat like what was it you were going to eat? Was it Italian like or sushi? Italian, Italian, nice. but it was like a pretty terrible place to go. Though. Yeah, it was cheese and meats and fats and stuff. And yeah. I saw like the little mixed platter thing. We thought mm, nice little, like nine eight seven calories. I thought nah, I'm not going to do that it. Was, 
Nearly a thousand on a little star. I wonder what was on it. But then, what you think about the high fat meats, olives, cheeses? Yeah. Olives got fuck all in there. Yeah, no, because really the Nando's olives, olives are decent. Yeah, really good. I suppose sometimes you no. get establishments that will do olives but have shit loads, loads of, oil of oil in there. Yeah. But then the the bolognese good. was good. It's like four four seven five mm. oh. wagyu bolognese. Yeah, that's it unbelievable, nice? man. It, yeah, yeah, it's oh, nice. Try it. It's only why I go there. It's the best dish. It is unbelievable. I've not been to the Italian. It looks nice. It looks romantic in there. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. It's nice. But that was the first time I actually was hesitant, even with the sort of thought process and mindset I'm in at the moment. Whereby like I can, I don't mind because I'm training hard. It, I actually went, you know what? No, I'm not going to have that. And imagine how many other people. So f you can you can argue that's a positive, I suppose. It's very difficult because it's like you're gonna. There are going to be some people that are just calorie conscious, and that's the way that they enjoy to live their life. Mm. Yeah, you know, and like, like and, and like you know what guessing guessing calories can give people anxiety unless you're very very good at it unless you know like how many times you've been to nando's and typed in on my fitness pal nando's like loads yeah. hundreds of times yeah. you know i mean that's still a thing that people could do which they probably should maybe like gear people towards instead mm. but then you've got the person who's the opposite of that you've got the person who fears calories yeah. And maybe some of the things that they've been eating over the past few years that they love, they've mm. now gone, oh my fucking God, oh my God, that's why. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. it's like created can, this can stigma. Drop. I'm not going to eat anymore. And it's going to encourage or push them further toward that disordered eating, that eating disorder that potentially might be there. Mm. It's it's like an, it's, it's a very, very difficult place to do because obviously it's there to try and reduce the obesity, obesity rate, you know, and you might, it might well do that, you know, but are we going to sacrifice some more mental health for that? That's a question that you know I'm, none of us are qualified enough to answer. But I, the, the first the first time I came across it, I went to uh, I think it was Hawksmoor, the steakhouse. Yeah, and she came over and she said, "Would you like the menu with the calories or without the calories?" Ah, oh, really? Um, now that for me is like that's ideal. That's a better. That's and I, a better I, I'm okay. I'm I'm like when I'm not on yeah when I'm not on prep. Like it I'm, doesn't make a I, difference. I, I literally no. don't yeah, so I'm the same. I'm the same to the point yeah. where I will I will I will eat that. Double cream, uh, garlic, and have dressing from Domino's. Like, oh yeah, do you know what I mean? the, the big tub. The big well, tub. not the big tub, but like the, you know, the big tub's like twelve hundred calories. Yeah, the whole thing. Just yeah. That's like one pizza thing. I need to get that in there. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm I'm fine. But I thought that was really good because then people do have the choice or not. I reckon most people would be like, if they got it, give option given to them, they probably say yes out of curiosity. Yeah. Unless you, know you want to go and enjoy, because the bit the big argument was like, oh, I just want to go out and enjoy my night. I don't want to yeah. have to know what I'm eating. Yeah, I didn't know they were doing options. I thought it was just a straight like you well, have to. That was only that one time. Ah. Uh, other times I've been and and uh, and it's just on there. Yeah, even on EasyJet they got it. Yeah. The girl, the woman next to me was going to order like a Mediterranean snack pack, and then <laughs> and she wasn't. Then she said, "Oh, I can't do that now." I've you got know, to go to my, uh, you know what? In, see, in that way, I think it's important because the, like there's so many small little things that. They come around. They give you a bag of pretzels. Yeah, well, pretzels probably 150 calories, and it's like four bites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like it's it's. There are these things that slip through people's lives that could be huge contributing factors to their obesity and actually their unhappiness. Yeah, and like and the strain on the NHS. And which I guess absolutely, the yeah, largely. You know, and it's about, right? and sometimes it's these things like oh, I give my lunch pack to my kid that has like a box of mixed nuts and fruits. Well, that's sugar and fat, mm. which which is not a problem in a, in a healthy, well balanced diet. But when your kid finishes his two sandwiches, his packet of crisps, yeah. his banana, and his apple, and then guess what? The kid's selling sweets as well. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. who doesn't sell sweets yeah, at school? Of so it's like it's like when you when you don't understand when you don't understand any any calories and you're not getting the education. Mm. Whole, putting putting it in front of your face might be a way. Of course, to it's the whole. I just don't, all I have is granola for breakfast. And, yeah. a, and, <laughs> just, a little, bowl of and just a little glass of orange juice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 half a pint. Yeah, forty carbs. Yeah, sugar. or a smoothie from Pret, which I only drink when I'm trying to actively put on weight. By the way. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think it's um, it, for me it feels like a, it's a it's a putting a plaster on a big leak in it. Mm. What needs to happen is people like well <laughs> us, but like what Tom's doing right now, educating people on. Or even what's like going out of my emails at the moment, like educating people on like you can live and and achieve fat loss goals. Yeah. Like you really can. Like Tom said, like let's say I'm going to, oh let's say I'm going to want a Chinese bash on Saturday, bash. right? And if I've got a fat loss goal and I'm not in the bodybuilding prep, I will just restrict my calories throughout the week or throughout that day, That's and that I is did. fine. That is absolutely like for me that is like balance if you want. Um, and I guess that probably is how I will try and live post bodybuilding. I will try and eat like a normal human, you know, yeah. three thousand five hundred calories probably, 
Monday to Friday, and that will allow me the flexibility at the weekend to eat wh- for a whatever food. I want. When did you have that? Bash. Bash. Fuck. Crispy yeah. corn, Eric Duck. Chow, yeah. chow mein seaweed. Have to. Shredded beef. Have to. Egg fried rice. Bash. Bash. <laughs> <laughs> but that day I knew I was going to have it. So I beasted a session, 600 calories. I trained. I had a protein shake, and I had that. Yeah. And then I woke up, point, yeah. point two drop. I find it quite hard sometimes because there's something in me that says, if you start to treat food like a reward. Yes, yeah. this is very, this is a big point. You get into those, you know, that, that vicious cycle of, no. right, I'm gonna bury myself and binge, bury myself and binge. Yeah. And I think it's, it's a hard balance to find because while, you know, it, it, it can be a reward, uh, if you want it, if, if, if you're okay with that and if your brain can handle it over a long period of, and that's what keeps within your sustainable cycle but yeah. if you're someone who you you have your treatment on your Saturday and you get to Monday and you think I'm going to bury myself today and fuck it I'm going to have a Chinese tonight and then you yeah. do the same Wednesday and then yeah. you do the same Friday I certainly don't do that frequently yeah. that won't work either you, no. you literally cannot outrun a bad diet no, yeah, no, no, no chance I think yeah I, I think that's really important like I, I really hate it when clients come to me and they're like oh I am um, I did go out on Saturday, but I made sure I did extra cardio on Sunday. I'm mm. like, did yeah. I tell you to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I did not. I've got this at the Please moment. Please break yeah. through that cycle of like making up for your yeah, sins or it's whatever. So it's so true. Not, it's, it's not good, sustainable. No. It also doesn't matter, like honestly. Um, so don't do it. But yeah, but straight yeah up. it's um, that, that, that cycle, that sort of, yeah, like you said, bury yourself with exercise and then eat it back is mm. I think really damaging. Mm. I think, uh, I don't want to call it a restrict binge because I feel like I've been told off. I don't think no, but like, I don't think I don't think going out for a meal is, is binging, is it? Like no, I think I think you know taking the taking the decision to make space for a big event at the end of the week. I think that's smart. Yeah, yeah. if you if you want to hold on to your body composition, and you absolutely. Wanna, um, that's what yeah. I'm doing at the moment with the uni lot, uni students. Now summer's like here. We've had to make those decisions to pull food down from Monday to Friday or Sunday to Because they go out on the weekends. Because they go out on Saturday. Yeah. You know, and that's right. all it is, is that awareness across the week. Yeah. And, and actually, m- more in support of you, like what you just showed me then. Yeah. That's normal. Yeah, yeah, cool. That's a normal Chinese order. On Saturday night. For, for, for me, fuck it, for me, yeah, I'm getting that, but I'm also getting donuts. Oh, no. But I'm also getting prawn toast, which is deep fried, and I'm also getting another other starter. Yeah. So that's when, like, like my, 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 I binge. That's 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 open. Like I actually, I have yeah. to go until I physically can't anymore. Ooh, fuck. So and so, like if you if you have that like balance with food, and you're one of those people that has that balance where it's all in or nothing, yeah. That's when that reward cycle gets Is, hard. But if you're someone who can manage it, do you always do like, say you have an off plan meal or a, yeah, I fucking hate this word, a cheat meal. Yeah. Regardless of the time of year, where you always eat until you can't eat anymore. Yeah. Really, that's really Just, interesting. Wow. And I'll get every single thing on that menu that I fancy. <laughs> so obviously, I am like savage binge at post show. But I'm more than happy nowadays. In a, if I'm in an off season, I'm ordering a Domino's. Mm. If I, if I don't want to eat the last slice, I'm not going to eat it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. But you'll be because you're full. Uh, yeah, but yeah, but there's full and then there's binge full. Like I've been, okay. I've been full when binging and I still keep eating. On top okay, of that. yeah. Post show. Yeah, but that's that chemical thing that's keeping you hungry, but right? Y- but year round, yeah. I, I, I quite quick. I, I mean, it's fucking horrible post show, but I quite quickly snap out of that and I'm able to be. Mm. I think relatively normal again yeah. we were speaking last week weren't we, on the way here on the two weeks on the way here and talking about um this sort of uh prerequisite for us now that we will only really choose meals that are high in protein so that will be yeah. that will be a consideration i said to i said to josh i said regardless of the time of year mm. if i'm walking to a shop and i see a carb killer or a mars bar i'm going carb killer 9.9 out of 10 times yeah but not because yeah because like i've I'm, I'm like wired that way to now think about protein, but also because I enjoy them. Yeah. Um, and it's not because I feel guilty if I get the Mars bar. Like, fuck it, I'll have the Mars bar as well if I want, but like, I prefer to, whatever it is in within me, I yeah. know the Mars bar probably does taste better on the whole, but yeah. I'm, I'm look, happy with that choice. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 100%. And we were saying, like, I'd struggle to choose a vegetarian meal. Yeah. I'd, 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 I could do a vegetarian side, but I'd need some meat with it. Yeah. Like, because my bread's not nice and protein. I'm struggling with that. I can't just have, like, Jam on toast and a cup of tea for breakfast. No, you need yeah. some protein. Like, no yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like my girlfriend Amy, that's what she could do, and then just go sit and do work. I'm like, yeah, yeah but there's no fucking protein. What there. about your MPS, Amy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. got to spike it, bruh. So even if even if even if I have a snack, it needs to be hit with at least 20, a bit yeah. 25 grams of protein. <laughs> it's just a little scoop. Of like, away, like you know, the Jaffa cake or the Jaffa cake bars are all well and good. They've got 97 calories, but I couldn't just eat that. Yeah. I think I need yeah, that and protein. some whey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But like going back to your thing with the, with the food I'm still making a conscious effort when I get that crispy aromatic duck all the fat's cold fit 
So, yeah, so yeah. I, I pull the skin of fat off and then I've just got lean duck in the pancakes. Mm. I have half. The, That's uh, the best bit you put enough there. Eh? I know, I know, I know. Yeah, you like, save those bits. I'll have them. Everyone's like, "Oh, you should be eating it." Oh, there's a little bit of cr- like on one. I'll treat myself to a bit of cr- crispy fat, but I'll have like half the punnet of the egg fried rice. I won't have all the beef, and then I'll have like half the chow mein. So That's, it's a lot of food, yeah. but I just I'm, I'm a it. very textured. I need yeah. little bits and bobs, but I won't sit there and eat the whole thing. And I'm really good. Yeah, like I said, it's taken me ten, twelve months to go, but I'm full now. But it's yeah. enough. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a really interesting debate. I think um, I think the the I remember when when the news came out and I was hearing I was, I was like I was hearing some people saying it's a bad thing. And I was thinking what? Mm. And then I remember and then it was because it's people with you know actual quite severe eating disorders, absolutely you know, bulimia and um, what's the one I'm not thinking of? What's the main one? Anorexia. 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 Yeah. And then it was people saying no, I'm literally scared to go out because I don't want to know what's on the menu. And I think. That it's is huge. pretty sad. Like it's that's horrible. Like, imagine you can't. Imagine you're going out difficult. to enjoy yourself and actually just now just anxiety ridden because you're going to see what you're eating yeah. what's that going to trigger in someone's mind like mm. that obviously and we can't talk about that because we don't have those disorders like no. there's no way I can even comment on it but to hear hear about that is obviously pretty devastating for a lot mm. of people um, mate I worked in a I worked in I can't remember the, I think it was Denbridge House which is like a for, for anorexics and it, that was mad like speaking to them like like what me and the guy who was working there saw and what they saw in the mirror, I thought, oh, I'm, I'm, my God, what, yeah, how, how, that's mad. And then obviously, Nikki, Nikki Graham, who, yeah. who like that sad story about her passing away. Yeah, the fact that she, I mean, relating it back to your point about not seeing exercise as a reward, she, that was that in order for her to eat, she had to train. Mm. You know what I mean? So at least you've kind of got that middle ground whereby. Yeah. You know, at least, and then the gym's closed. Because, because the gym's closed, she wouldn't eat. That's why that big push. We've got to get these gyms open. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's when, like, for, for we just we just have no idea. No idea, how mate. That's impacting. No idea. People. I can't like. It's so difficult. You know, in terms of, we probably have uh, quite large scale body dysmorphia. Like I know yeah. I yeah. do. Like I still see myself as a normal sized bloke. Um, <laughs> And he says like in that just, chair like that. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? It's just insane. I honestly look at myself, but it, it doesn't, this, this is where I think um, with everything, it, it, it's, it's that drawing a line of where it becomes a problem. Mm. I'm not worried about my dysmorphia because I, 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 can, I can see it and, I'm, and that's fine. And I'm all right with that. I don't then, I don't then turn away from the mirror and go, fuck, yeah. gotta go get bigger. Gotta yeah. take more steroids. Like, it's not about, it's not like yeah. that for me. So it's about when, a, it's, you know, it's when a, an issue becomes a problem. I don't know how to quite word it, but, you know, the calories on the menu I think are great until they're a problem for someone. Yeah. But for me, they're, that's cool. I'm happy with that. Like, it's, yeah. I think personally, like, yeah, I can. That's cool with me because yeah. like, it won't stop me eating something. Yeah, um, I think it's uh, right intention, potentially wrong execution, and the execution should, should be in school, like education, education real yeah. education. It I mean, always is. yeah, like I did did a bit of nutrition in PE, but it's very very basic. Yeah, it's, it's actually mad, isn't it? How we. Get, you know, send kids to school and talk to them about you know, teach them how to play rounders and hockey and whatnot. Like, if they want to go and do that, they can do that actually outside of school with mm. a club. But there's no club to teach kids about how to manage body composition. I mean, I don't know. Does that reinforce? Like, you know, we've got the whole body image debate going on. Oh, that'd be uh, that'd be co- of course so much drama. I know. So difficult. It's the same man. with like managing your finances. Like, people yeah. should be taught how to manage their health. Yeah. Or at least have the option to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you yeah. want, if you want be overweight and eat until you can't eat anymore and like crack on but at least we gave you the choice exactly because at the moment you just learn from your parents don't you yeah, yeah exactly pretty much and they I learn mean, our from parents no shit let's be honest like, yeah. oh my god my stepdad's diet makes me feel sick yeah. same as my dad beigeest thing i've ever seen yeah beige. Do you know what? <laughs> sometimes i get home and he's eating um, beige i love oh, that this is, the, this is the best thing ever i see him eat there's a few things i see him eat all the time Pork pies and salad cream. <laughs> salad cream <laughs> as well. He's a fucking combo. boy. I'm, I'm Animal. Just, I'm looking That's at like my dad, mate. That's you, a dad thing. What are you is. doing? And then the other thing he always eats is uh, rice cakes with peanut butter. And I think in his head, that's like a healthy snack. Yeah. And I'm like, it's just literally carbs and fats there. Dad. Yeah. Um, and then I've, I think I'm sure I said this before on the podcast. He's stopped this now. And I wonder if it's because I said something to him. He'll probably let me know because he does listen to this. Is I used to always drink a coffee at nine o'clock at night. Yeah, you said that before. And then complained about his sleep. That like, is yeah. mental. Stop drinking that coffee. That is insane. Have a decaf one if you like the taste. Um, so yeah, and, that, and that's a classic example of how, you know, if you're, 
if you just learn from your parents and your parents only, mm. it's a car crash. My dad, because my dad cycles everywhere, he's, he, his is a bit like the reward thing. Yeah. You cycle into work with no breakfast, have coffee, cycle back, and then we'll go to Sainsbury's and get, you know, the Victoria Sponge or carrot cakes. Yeah. The whole thing's gone. Oh. Does he stay quite skinny, do you mean, just from the bike? Yeah, but he's lean, isn't he? So he's like, all right. So him, he's like, well, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah, no, it doesn't touch him. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean, over Christmas, he goes, oh, I'm getting, I think, Dad, you're not, mate. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you yeah. Mid, -50, mid 50s, just fucking. Beasting, Chilling. just beasting, doesn't have a lot of food. Yeah. But they cook well for me. Like I got, <coughs> no, my mum and dad were very good with a different variety of foods growing up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's why mm. I've got no like, yeah. you know, the only thing I dislike is like mushrooms, but that's only because I had a bad yeah. experience with them. Like my palate was, my <laughs> palate. Sort of yeah. yeah. I went Which to mushrooms? Greenwich, Greenwich noodle thing and I had some mushrooms and me and my mum had food poisoning. Oh, really? I don't mind mushrooms. I quite like the taste of it, but if I can see it in my food, I'm like, nah. Like, oh, for me, it's the texture of mushrooms. Yeah, like, like the fur, in it, like the middle bit's all hairy and that. Bit like a shave. No good at mushrooms, me. It's a shame. But yeah, no, it's an interesting topic. I, yeah, like I say, I think I think the to sum it up, I think it's a I do think it's a plaster on a much bigger problem than just well, as with everything, education, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm looking forward to you both being like done with bodybuilding and then seeing your kind of journeys with food mm. i think you'll i think you'll it will reignite that you you'll find yourself in a position where daily you'll have that excitement to cook because that's what i do at the moment i love cooking as well yeah, yeah. yeah. and i just yeah. hate and like i feel like i come alive i feel like i'm alive in the yeah, kitchen 100 percent, man. Yeah. you know and then you get to office and i think i fucking can't bother me i just have that plain rice and chicken fuck it shove yeah. it in i'm thinking where's that passion yeah mm. it but does it does bear in mind how um i've like i've I honestly can say like all my tricks of the trade from last prep went right to the back of my mind to the point where I almost totally forgot about all of them. And now they're starting to come back and I'm, yeah. I'm, like, I'm back on like the, the mug cakes and whatnot and I'm, I've made that, they're incredible. I will so tell you what, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to say the, the recipe because I think it's amazing. So I know yours is quite plain, but what I do is I get, I get, I get the vi well, I saw it on the YouTube this morning. It was like water and whey. I was like, that's not a fucking mug cake. <laughs> That's not, that's not a mug cake, Josh. Water and whey. Mug cake, water and whey. Disrespect. Let me tell you what you need to do. So, and I know, I know you, you did mention that video to prefer that you just weren't there yet, which is, is fair ah. enough, but the, the best thing I think you can do is get, so vegan whey, mm. because the volume and the texture is amazing. Yeah. Egg white in there, you don't need much, maybe 50 mil. Top it up with then with like water if you want, but I use almond milk. And then what I do is, if I've got the calories, I mush up like half the smallest banana, like 40 grams of banana, so yeah. it's like, eight grams of carbs put that in there for the thickness and then if you've got the calories even just like 10 grams of raisins in there if you like raisins because microwave they're incredible this guy and then break up 10 grams of dark chocolate and put that in there as yeah chocolate i do chips that and then, it. Yeah. and then just put the pb2 on top it's just mind-blowing oh i don't have all the calories for that it's mate well, you, i think you do you're eating one meat at the moment no i'm not definitely you are on the latest uh, updates trust me trust me daddy 2450 today God, eh? How many calories are in that mug cake though? So this one Too here, many that I've just pulled up <laughs> Let me just get one here Right so here's four, 483 in this but 483 calories yeah, in a mug 66 cake 66 grams of that is protein Only yeah. 30 carb And that is from the banana And the vegan protein itself So that is the only problem you do have is that the vegan protein carries quite a lot of carbs because it, it's from like peas or whatever It does yeah So if you made it with ice I think it's obviously calories going to be way better But texture my banoffee, Which no, one? not banoffee, banana cake. My protein banana cake's good. That's uh, banging. Yeah. I do like a banana I, cake. I got into a real habit of going to my corner coffee shop and getting a cappuccino and their banana cake, but. Where's the protein on that, by the way? What do you do about that one? The way. Right, yeah. The way in What flavor? Uh, I do vanilla okay. and then I do an extract. I've just started to buy those. So like with my overnight Jaffa cake oats and things like, I'll basically try and mirror whatever flavor drop or, or extract I can get with the thing that I'm having. So the Valencian orange drops are really good if you ever want like mm. orange overnight oats. That Perform orange, chocolate orange is banging. Yeah. Oh my God, it's so good. I just man. got the vegan one today. <laughs> it's banging. Oh, my stomach's rumbling. Really? <laughs> yeah. I'm, got, I'm, I'm good to go until like two, I reckon. No, I'll be fine, but I'm going to eat when I go. I to eat. Sure. I can feel myself getting Really? Yeah. What is that though? Is that the caffeine coming away? So either the caffeine coming away or the T3 clan you him by and going up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Probably them ones. <sighs> I ain't got none of that. That's probably... But then you think how much of an impact, how much of an additional stress is that having on... Mm, so do much. You know what I mean? How much is that so clan much. and T3 thinking... Because I mean, like, I'm a, I'm, nothing's in me apart from 
caffeine. I do. Uh, that's another thing I wonder as well in terms of like the, the cleanse. Sort of at the start of the day, you get that raised heart rate, you yeah. Feel that, but then the drop when it off, to taper off. Is that when you're starting to feel a bit more yeah. heavy, lethargic? More Cal tells me the worse you feel, the better it's going to be. I agree with him. The well. flatter you are, the more dead you feel, the more dragging the feet, the more, but more fat you're burning. I mm. agree with that as well. I said when I did say that this week, I said when it starts hurting, you know, it's started working. Mm. Yeah. But it's, it's not working hurting. for me. <laughs> it just hurts. No work. Are you running your himbine as well? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think that for me, the jury's a bit out on your himbine. Really? I read up on it again this week and I was like... Did you? What, in what particular? Menno Hen... Menno Yeah, Menno's yeah, one, yeah. His, his article kind of breaks down all of them and I was thinking, mm. does this shit even work? Yeah. Like, there's a reason it's not banned. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm a, um, I love it. I, for the feeling. Well, yeah, and for what the, the positive effect it has on my cardio, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, it you is know, pretty Looking good. at my watch and seeing 20 minutes and 400 calories, I think, well, fuck, like, okay. Yeah, I, well. I love enough. feeling fit. That's but I've always been like. a big fan of it. Like, the, I think more so the combination of them all, you know, the, the kind of oral topical, you've heard me bang on about yeah, it before, and I've yeah, seen yeah. the midsection come in. Actually, I did that last year. I didn't do it. I'm not doing it this year. No. Where you do the topical cream, the heat the cream. Heat and the oral. The, yeah, and the oral. I think it. I think it works. And the fucking what's that peptide? T- uh, carnitine. Carnitine. Fuck that carnitine. Stink, stingy Jesus carnitine. Christ. I'm never doing that. I've got that vaso burning in the back of my cupboard. Yes, yeah, mine's yeah, sitting there as well. Uh, same. I remember <laughs> the first time I used it. I was like, oh, this feeling's all right. And then I got in the shower and it felt uh, like someone was tearing my skin off. Putting boiling water on like you. Yeah. I have cold showers, which is fine, but it was horrible. Yeah, JP was hurt. quite a big advocate of that. I remember watching his early videos. He used to crush it. He used to get he used to get uh, the cream that will transfer from skin into tissue. I can't remember what it's called. Like transdermal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he'd get his own like transdermal cream and then crush the your him your him And then yeah. make his own paste. Oh, right. But obviously now you can get products yeah, with, with it in. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I suppose it's a good way. You never really know. Uh, you know, it's all very well and good. Vags I burn saying it's got X amount, but if you physically yeah, know yourself, that's true. I suppose you can dictate that. Cool, your morning cardio routine suddenly becomes about an hour and a half. Yeah, get the pestle and mortar out. <laughs> yeah, I think literally, I think he had that. I think he had that. I'll just tuck like it in the narcos. Yeah, okay, it's a lot in it. But yeah, yeah not, not carnitine, not, no gel for me this year. Maybe it means I won't do as well. But Maybe that's why you're not losing weight. It's like yeah, carnitine. Yeah. Fuck that. You got a lot of heat, didn't you, last year when you started trying to sell that year in buying that now the uh yeah, the yeah, vaso you, burn. You got so much. I got loads, but I did, wasn't even selling it because you can't buy it in the UK. And, who did and like video? inside don't stock it. Like and people were just like, who is it? I don't know, people were making videos about me. Someone put like, the video about sell you, it, brother. I don't yeah. want to say the, the the account's name. Oh no, I don't. Oh, do you know? We can blur it. Well I know who No, no, don't even say it. No. I'm not doing it. I don't want to give them any airtime. Right. I, I hadn't thought about them for a long time, actually. Oh. Think about them, like both them. them a little bit. Plural two. It's uh, it's or the people I'm thinking of is or people is they're anonymous. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think I probably. It's an do. account, not a person. Oh yes. A scummy little ratty. Yeah, account. yeah, yeah. Bog trotters. <laughs> <Just> little <laughs> mouth breathers, man. <laughs> Pricks. I think they dropped dropped off. In yeah, they? hopefully, hopefully dead and gone forever. That's it, mate. Trend, trend, and fads. Gone. Yeah, remember they started offering coaching. That was fucking. Oh, oh that was gold. Yeah. <laughs> On like and people were doing it like with someone anonymous. Word documents. Like shit. you don't get to know who I am, but I'm going to coach you. Yeah. Scum. Because what I. Uh, Scumbags. Say no more. It's, yeah. It, and it's so good that they all know we're talking about them. And no, no. no. Are, yeah. You dirty little rats. You little uh, bash. You're doing you. nothing. Oh, right, that's Not one ears are doing nothing. <laughs> no, a few people will know who we're talking about. I reckon. Yeah, maybe. Don't say their name on YouTube, guys. Yeah, then don't go on. We'll delete your comment. <laughs> and block you. <laughs> we'll put the filter on to start to say it can't yeah. be posted. I'll have to do that. Oh, obviously. But I'll have to do that. It's oh, so hopefully annoying. Hopefully not anymore. Fuck yeah. Oh, mate, every time I go on my YouTube review, where's, where's, I think, oh, oh God, you're God. still going on about this, are you? You're 10 years down the line. Someone else who's disappeared but reappeared? El Darby. Yeah. El Darby in Carlo. She's back. I didn't read the full post. Did you read it? I've read it. I did. I did. What, did, I did. It, what did it, was the general gist? I just find it so funny that that it's come from a place of marketing and PR. Do you know what I mean? These things are so funny. It's not, doesn't it have to though. It, well, it does, but at the same time, if you're really that passionate about it, just jump on a fucking video. Let me see ya. Mm. Don't like, that's don't hard though, man. I know mm. it's hard because you like, say stuff wrong. Like you get, if you can write it, you can change it and edit it. Should we read it? 
there is. There, I just think in in that scenario, I thought about it a little bit. And I just think there, there there is no way to win. No. No matter how you apologise, no matter how you do this, you do that, you're always gonna lose. And she's won. She's back. Yeah, but hundred thousand followers. Followers are rocking. Five thousand comments. Out. People. Everyone positive. Bro, it's back. It's done. Mm. People have forgotten. Also, like at what point? At what point can someone make a mistake and the worst mistake, the worst mistake imaginable? Is that it then for life? No, you that's what I mean as well. Like, no, when when like, do they get to come back? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Have you done your time sort of thing? Yeah. It's tricky, isn't it? We can come out in and out of been jail s- all the time. Six or seven people months. People will, like, celebrate the fact that they've, they've made a life for themselves and they're back, so... Free. Free, yeah. Free my boy. So it's tricky, isn't it? Free lips. It's, it's, um, <laughs> free I don't know. Get him out of jail. The problem is, like, obviously, she she'd done something wrong how many years ago, whatever. She's not actually been uh, kind of categorically punished. She got cancelled, right? Yeah, no, but no, her, her, she's not. But that isn't cancelled because she's back. Yeah, her so punishment yeah. is. She's lost management. I think the management team dropped. Probably it. lost like seventy percent of the revenue. Yeah, money. like you know, and like she couldn't do a drop for her thing, and like yeah. I mean, I'm sure they've got loads of money in the bank, and it's not a huge deal. But that's a lot. That's a, that's a lot do, of people. You know, you can't put a you can't put a value on it. But I imagine that anguish and stress was much worse. Crazy. I think, I think he went to America for a little bit to get yeah, away. She's back I on mean, the stories, look now. Is it a bit of Harry Styles? I think I don't know. That, I think I don't know why, but maybe there was a bit about like I was in a bad place. Like I, I, I sort of read it and thought, you can't. You, you're you, you're still playing victim. Mm. You, you can't say that Just because I was it. in a bad place, it's okay for me to be a racist. It's not. And you have to be very careful with with when you say that because as soon as you start writing an apology letters and you're getting people's backs up again. You're just reigniting the fire. I know. It is, I do think it's really hard. It's like, how do you come back? I mean, but there's examples everywhere. I was watching, um, I don't know what I was watching, something this week about, and it was, oh, it was, I was with Ricky Gervais last night. Oh, yeah. Are you about to say really the thing about him talking about cancel, about you Kevin could, Hart? We, yeah, we could get, so we could get cancelled in 10 years' yeah. time for something we said now. Yeah. And we don't know. We don't know what's going to be offensive. But we know flatline racism is, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's a bit different. So homophobism yeah, homophobic. true. There's, yeah. yeah. And then you look back at racism whereby it was acceptable at a time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Not not acceptable. Well, that maybe that oh, I'll get cancelled. Not, the norm. Yeah, not so acceptable. Racism just is acceptable. Not punished. It was wrongly yeah. wrongly the norm. Yeah, it, precisely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And people just got on with it. Whereas yeah. it's, it's changed now. Yeah. It's uh, it is tricky. And and Kevin Hart, quite, I mean, yeah, quite rightly, like they um, wanted him to apologise again. He was like, I've already apologised. Yeah. I'm not going to keep apologising for this. Yeah. Um. I suppose it's just a response to the comments like yeah. I just read some of them comments and I thought, fuck, what are you talking about? Yeah. What are you actually fucking talking I about? I imagine the I imagine the bottom line is that um El Darby and Connor, whatever, over ten years of whatever, probably did do a lot of growing already and I'm sure they don't agree with what they said. You know? Of course. You know? I'm Thousands. sure they don't agree with what I, I imagine they grew up in entirely white rural places yeah. where they were surrounded it's like what I said about fat parents teaching fat kids. Yeah racist parents or parents that speak with unacceptable nowadays and yeah. racist language teach the kids and then they think it's normal so then they go on Twitter and they say it and I, I you know I imagine that El Darby would have been horrified to I can't imagine she was re- I can't imagine she was reading them now mm. and thinking oh better get rid of these they look bad and yeah. they're funny though I, mean, yeah. I imagine yeah. she was thinking oh, oh fuck, fuck me that's really bad actually yeah, 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 of course. so I, I don't doubt it you know as PRE as it looked like I'm sure there has been growth and an apology yeah and whatever um, absolutely it's like that do you ever yeah. see that clip of that Millwall that little young Millwall kid oh, Millwall yeah, fuck them all and I yeah. thought oh my god imagine if he gets famous and then that video is there yeah he's, and because he, he's not famous he's alright he's, yeah. he probably keeps his job isn't he <laughs> of course no one even knows who he is of course <laughs> no yeah, it's tricky it is tricky I guess you you got everything you got a lot to lose sort of thing so yeah I uh, I mean I hope for the. I really hope for the sake of their mental health. Like yeah, they're course. all right, and the kids yeah. all right as well. And because the, mm, they've got a little kid, sure. they like. I've been speaking to Connor a little bit, to be honest. Horrible time to go through it. Over I the last four or five good. weeks, yeah, he's all right, man. He's all right. Like I think, like you said, they they've gone through a v- probably one of the hardest times they were going to go through. Right, I would have mm. challenged the family, would have challenged everything. Imagine what people would have said about their entire family. Her, yeah. her sisters also. Uh, mm. Famous on on Instagram, mm. she's got like four or five hundred thousand followers, mm. and it's just like, and I know that he's been through a lot, but like he's, you know, they're they're. I know that he's ready to 
like I, in fact just before he uh, she posted i said like what's what's your guys plan like how are you going to do how are you going to come back how are you going to do whatever he goes actually we're just planning for the right moment mm. you know we've got to appreciate these things take time and like we don't want to like come reopen the wound yeah. and then it was literally two days later but that she posted been six six seven months Hot. yeah i think Half it was, it was around she last posted new year's eve or something so i think I imagine us a lot going you know going off grid for six for months six in months. terms of our business yeah. oh my word i'd be scratching yeah i'd be fucked yeah yeah it's tricky i don't again and i don't want to sit here and and because what the, the tone there you know he's all right as if like something sort of happened to him Do you know what yeah I mean? no nah, fair enough fair enough fair he, enough he, he's a victim of his own no you're right there his own statements of course but i'm like i said i'm i'm glad they were right you know what i mean because the work you imagine if you know the worst of the worst happened and that had a real toll on of course but then it was no it, one would want that do you know what i mean no so. no one would but then I, was it dr mike that said when we were talking about the the kind of the whole Jack Piad situation about how well you know we can't all of a sudden just think about one person's no. mental health because he's at the sacrifice, oh, at the sacrifice of hundreds yeah. of others. Like when I guess I guess for me and on this the El Darby situation, I can't really imagine to be honest her comments really upset anyone's mental health. Do you know what I mean? She yeah. might have pissed off quite a few thousand million people off maybe, but <laughs> yeah. I can't imagine anyone was reading them and crying. Whereas Jack no. Piad was actively damaging people's mental health yeah. yeah regularly manipulating them of course and now i think he's back in he so like the, i was out in mykonos when it all kicked off again and i thought this is absolutely absurd oh is he back on instagram that with the, with yeah the, he's back to normal yeah he's back to normal back to coaching people yannick well yeah. no yannick's got he's are you talking about jack or are you talking about yannick? i'm talking about yannick yeah yannick. he's gone private again but then he just like they come out with these things and say like oh i'm innocent whatever and then you don't help yourself by privating and deleting posts yeah, yeah. Like oh no, it wasn't me. Someone, someone's, uh, someone's pretend. Even if one person's pretended to be you, no, are we ignoring the fight, fucking yeah. hundreds of print screens that are now being uploaded no. and 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 actually going right? That's him. There's his profile, and it just links. No, don't try. The geezer's a scumbag, don't man. Try and deny it. The geezer's a fucking scumbag, and Court there's nothing. Red Courts for it, absolutely. And the fact that it, it's back is disgusting. Yeah. And you get caught once, done. Done. Because you, like you said, this is not like a, a a little mistake. This is. Damaging people. Months yeah. and years of it, mate. Imagine how the people, imagine how the girls feel seeing him back and seeing and him And the work. guys. And the guys, it's exactly. And the guys seeing him work with it. And you know what I mean? It's just. It's got no shame, mate. Yeah, it, mate, it bl bl balls my blood, to be honest. It really does. I think it's, I think it's horrible. I think it's absolutely horrible. And the fact, and you know, it's like the, the knock on effect of like Boris not being, you know, we're in this, we're in this kind of certain individuals are in this bubble whereby they can get away with certain things due mm. to their, their, their status and stature. The Boris thing's mental. Hey, what he's withstanding at the moment, I'm like sort of mind blown about it. It's like, I feel like anyone else would have been gone. It's gone. First prime minister to break the law. First Crazy. prime minister. Imagine he's if it was Corbyn. Blah, 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 blah. I know, I know. Swipe like, it under the carpet. We've got to focus on the bigger issues. Know, you think, he's, he's, like, he's using the Ukraine war yeah, as a way to say, "Are you sure about this?" It's a very yeah. simple problem. It's like, yeah, kind of the principle, though, boss. He's just been so. There's another. They're more party gate in there. The reports today, oh. isn't it? Sue Gray. Yeah, yeah. So guess, but he had a meeting with her. It's just, I mean, it's the whole, but then, but then public perception of now what, what lies within like their moral rules is like, well, if Boris is doing, like we was on the, uh, the, pl the plane on the easy jet plane and they were making us wear masks on the plane yeah. and, and, you know, I went through security and he was like, you got your mask? I said, no. They said, well, you're not coming on the plane. I thought, well, but the, I've been in the airport. I'm allowed to catch COVID, am I? And on the plane, I'm not. And they're massive, so I had to run back to the thingy lounge and get like 20 for the plane because we didn't know about it. And then throughout the flight, I didn't have it on anyway. And she was like, you're just not gonna put it on. And I thought, when you've got a prime minister that has openly broken all, how do you expect us to follow? Mm. How do you expect me to realistically follow your, and I said to her, it's not you. Like I said, I even said, when I got up to the toilet, she said, can you put your mask on? I said, it's not you. I know I'm being an arsehole. I really know I'm being an arsehole and I'm so sorry it's not you, but I'm not doing it. Yeah. I'm not doing it. I hate the masks. They're my least favourite thing about it all on a day-to-day -day basis. Monkeypox now. Round, yeah. round two. Uh, yeah, yeah. Three week I isolation. I keep checking my hands. I'm like... Oh, it's bollocks, mate. I just turn the news off now. It's the best thing to do. <laughs> I do. I, try, I, I try just try turn it watch. off because it's already to. scaring people on Twitter. Guys, have you seen this? You know, they're pu pushing the vaccine. Oh, the monkey. Didn't someone make it mandatory to get it already? Some some places already made I think it mandatory. It's in, I think yeah. it's in Europe as well. I think it was Italy or something. Just made it, to, made it mandatory just to get it. Just as a precaution. Fucking hell, mate. Jab me up. Spain have just dropped it, thank God. Yeah, I did see that. Buzzing. My lot, were, my lot were buzzing on Sunday. Watching the football. I bet there was a lot of flights booked that night. Oh, my, 100%. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, there actually was. One of the boys booked on. 
He was like, oh, I'm coming. We got the, the BBC News app said uh, Spain, Spain were one of the last people to do it. Yeah. Con- countries, people. They got hit badly, didn't they, in the end? Very, very, very mm-hmm. badly. Very badly. Yeah. I remember my my auntie was sending me updates because she lives in like a tower block. When they weren't allowed to leave and the oh, police were walking my, around. They're, they're, they're p- controlling my mum and dad were, My mum and stepdad and my auntie were there at the time. Oh, of and course. They had to get her. They would like the three of them walked to the shops together, and they weren't allowed. They, like it was had to be one person goes on their own. And it's mad that that happened. Yeah, crazy, isn't it? It's mad that that we've even lived through that yeah, that period. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nuts. And I, but then I suppose anything. What it, what will happen now when the next one comes? Are we yeah. just all gonna be like, well, we've learned from COVID. None of us are gonna comply. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because it could, because there there might be a really <coughs> serious disease that comes. There along. was some at the start though. At the start, I think people were complying. Oh man, I was well scared. I was washing my Sainsbury's bags. I was what well, I would get home. Oh, yeah, why well, wouldn't you? To be fair, and I was, and then I started thinking. Then my mum was like, oh. <laughs> and then I think, well, she's a psychiatrist. Like she's been in the game for forty years. Do you know what I mean, I think, oh, maybe I should probably listen to her a bit more. But like, I was, well, I was petrified. And then you just sort of start to understand and the PPE and the masks, and you think, is it that serious? If they're yeah. not doing it, or is this like a good way to get some money to or, pay? Or is <laughs> the fact that they're profiting billions from a vaccine? Yeah, it's just tricky. I don't know. I don't know. Are we done? I'm knackered. Talked about vaccines. You've got to be careful. Oh, yeah. Well, I can, I can leave. have the little icon. Yeah, we're going to have the Gov NHS. For info. I can COVID. see your two energy levels do this, right? The yeah, whole I've thing is so funny. Now. What time is it? Half 11. Yeah, I'll be home after for meal one. Perfect. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Nice. I'm already thinking. I'm about still that ready to part. go. You two can go if you want. I'll do a solo one. Yeah. Next okay. week. Is that the plan? Yeah, well, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm about. I'll be for Saturday. Banging. Nice. Festival this weekend on Friday. Are you coming? Probably not. Ah. I think if I'd seen a bit more progress, I might have done, but I don't think I deserve it. Might be quite yeah, good. Yeah, the steps are fucking good. Like, <laughs> no. Do no. a little two step. I'm only going for a few hours. Literally for a few hours. Not if you're taking anything. Mm. Just going to go and have a good time. Yeah. It's nice. Nice bit of music. Brockwell, it? yeah. Bicep and over mono, then I'm off. I'd be for close all bid pending. <laughs> right, I know you two are absolutely <laughs> naff. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'll stop talking. Peace out. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers,